Hey, what's up, guys? Gino's Gadgets here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick hands-on and comparison between the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8. Also, I wanted to do a color comparison. So the Galaxy Note 8 will be launching in two colors at launch. Um, that's going to be the Midnight Black, which is self-explanatory, and Orchid Gray. And I wanted to do a hands-on to show you guys the difference in Orchid Gray on the Galaxy S8 and Orchid Gray on the Galaxy Note 8. So I have both devices here, but let me show you so you can see the contrast. So this is the Galaxy S8 in Orchid Gray. And this is the Galaxy Note 8 in Orchid Gray. Now, both of these are saying they're Orchid Gray. And I don't know about you guys, but these colors look totally different to me. Um, so Samsung says that this is Orchid Gray and they say that this is orchid gray. Somebody's lying. But anyway, um, it looks like if I were to describe the orchid gray color on the Note 8, it would be kind of a taupe color with a light violet undertone, whereas the S8 is uh, kind of seems gray with more of a purple um, like a darker purple undertone. Um, <clears throat> another thing is that the S8, the orchid gray on the S8, it's somewhat speckled, and it's really hard to see that on camera. Um, trying to zoom in. Hope it doesn't get too dirty. Um, trying to zoom in there, but um, it. You probably can't see, but it actually does appear to be speckled on the back. <clears throat> Whereas on the Galaxy Note 8, it's more of a mirror finish. But the color is a little more pale. It's a little more kind of opaque. Um, a little more muted in the color. The color is not quite as bold. So... Anyway, that's a uh, look at the different Orchid Grays. Um, now, I know a lot, a lot of you guys are looking at, close at this Note 8 device. Uh, I've been testing this device for the last few days, and it's, I mean, it's really strong. It really is impressive. Um, and, uh, but I know a lot of you guys, from a price point standpoint, it looks like the um, average retail price for this phone looks like $940. Um, I have seen it unlocked. It looks like uh, Best Buy.com and Samsung.com will be offering this device at launch. So you can um, pre order the Note 8 uh, for $930 unlocked. So that's completely carrier unlocked. No bloatware from any of the carriers, no carrier apps or anything like that. So you can get a hold of one of those. At launch, so that is a first for Samsung. Uh, I don't ever remember them launching a device, um, like not a flagship device anyway, um, at launch, having the unlocked version available from day one. So that's actually really cool. I'm pretty excited about that. But I wanted to show you guys this because <clears throat> I was asking. Uh, a buddy of mine, what he thought about the looks of the new Galaxy Note 8. And he was like, oh, yeah, that phone looks like Bender. I thought that was pretty funny. So um, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Does it look like Bender? This is Bender, for those who are not familiar with him, from Futurama. Um, anyway, so that's the Galaxy Note 8 back. That's the orchid gray color. And this is the device. Um, another thing that just came out today is that DisplayMate, 
did their yearly comparison, uh, their yearly test of smartphone device displays, and they just tested the, um, apparently just tested the Galaxy Note 8's display. They gave it an A plus and said that it was the best display that they have ever tested. So uh, this device is not even on the market yet, and it's already um, uh, been really impressive uh, from reviewers and testers so far. So that's the Galaxy Note 8. Quick hands-on size comparison and color comparison. Thanks for watching. Geno's Gadgets, like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. So guys, I will also be putting a link in the description below to the DisplayMate article um, that I cited uh, where DisplayMate is praising the display on the Galaxy Note 8, basically saying that it is uh, the best smartphone screen that they have ever seen.